Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Allow me to introduce myself My name is Aldi Yovano Putra Roberta And I'm a mathematics student from State University of Surabaya In this video, I will explain the implementations of pure mathematics in our lives Okay, let's get started Communications is an activity that is always carried out by every human being. In this modern era, communication has become easier because of technology that can send messages over long distances, such as email, SMS, and internet are technology that is widely used in telecommunication. There are several things that need to be considered in sending data including confidentiality and integrity. Therefore, securing or encoding the message before it is sent to the recipient is necessary, so that the data sent can be kept confidential and not easily changed by anyone to maintain the integrity of the message. Therefore, in this video, we will discuss how to secure a message or data. The science that studies the ways of securing data is known as cryptography. In this modern era, cryptography has used many mathematical algorithms to convert plain text into ciphertext or vice versa. Plain text is the original text or message with meaning while ciphertext are plain text that has been encrypted and is meaningless. Here, I will introduce one of the algorithms often used in cryptography. This algorithm is known as the RSA algorithm. In the process of encryption and data description, RSA applies the concept of prime numbers and modulo arithmetic as the basis of the algorithm. Okay, because this algorithm will use modulo arithmetic, we will recall what definitions and theorems about modulo arithmetic might help us in calculations. Having understood modulo arithmetic, let's see how the RSA algorithm works. First, we will look at the process of encrypting a message. For example, we will encrypt the phrase, I love you. In the first step, we represent the letters of the alphabet into positive integers. You can freely choose any digit number to represent these letters. Here, I represented the letters as a two-digit decimal number starting from A as the number 11, B as the number 12, and so on. So, for each letters in the sentence, I love you, can be represented like this. In the second step, we select any prime numbers P and H, where P is not equal to H. In choosing P and H, it is advisable to take huge primes, this is intended so that data security can be tighter. However, since this is just an example, I take the small p and h values. Let p equals 7 and h equals 11. In the third step, we determine the value of r, where r equals p times h, so we get r equals 77. In the fourth step, we determine the value of E, 
where e is pi minus 1 times k minus 1 we get the value of e is 60 step 5 select any positive integer number as the public k or pk where the gcd of pk and e is 1 for example we choose the value pk equals 13 to be sure let's check using the equalit algorithm the result show that gcd of 13 and 60 is 1 so that the value p equals 13 satisfies the sixth step and encrypt each block with the formula ci congruence mi power pk modulo r from the message m1 equals 19 m2 equals 22 m3 equals 26 and so on then we substitute each value of m into the formula to get the value of c then we sort the value of c starting from c1 c2 and so on until c9 thus we get the ciphertext code from the message i love you is 612275326463750303 after we know how to encrypt a message now we will see how to decrypt a ciphertext code into a message for example we will change the ciphertext that we have obtained into a message again the steps are calculate the value of sk or secret k where it is the inverse of pk modulo e we know the value of pk is equal to 13 and e is equal to 60 hence sk times 13 congruent 1 modulo 60 since the gcd of 13 and 60 is 1 and 1 divides 1 then according to the theorem the linear congruence has a solution exactly one solution then we will determine the value of sk here i use the euclid algorithm to solve it we get the value of sk is equal to 37 then we decrypt a separate text with the formula mi congruence ci power sk modulo r after getting the value of m we can convert the value of m to each representation of the alphabet so we get the message from the separate text is i love you i think that is all for now thank you for watching wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh